Chris Waddell urges Tottenham to offer Harry Kane new contract after striker decides to stay. Chris Waddell has called for Tottenham to offer Harry Kane a new long-term contract after their star striker announced he will remain with his boyhood club this season. Kane had wanted to force through a transfer to Manchester City to boost the chances of winning the silverware which has so far evaded him during his career. But Spurs chairman Daniel Levy stood firm on his stance that the England captain was not for sale at any price during this window and even turned down two official bids from the Premier League champions. After Kane dramatically announced on social media yesterday that he would be staying put, Waddle believes there is not time like the present to get him to agree to a new and improved deal. If I was Tottenham I'd sit down and try and say let's do a new deal. Let's sign you up until you finish your career. That'll ask a question, will Harry say no I'm staying on this one, and that will push the button for Spurs to say no at the end of the season he's going, Waddle, who spoke to Metro.co.uk via Space Casino, said. If Spurs says there's a new contract on the table until you're 33 34 35, why doesn't he want to take it? He may say he wants to win honours, but we don't know what Tottenham are going to achieve in the next three, four, five years. Man City are up there at the minute, but they're not guaranteed, there's some tasty teams in the Premier League this year. While Waddle understands why the 29-year-old wanted to leave the club, he believes the fans should be ecstatic that he's decided to remain there for now. He added, I don't think you can please them all fans. Harry will know that. I've left clubs where I've had stick, when I left Newcastle I got a lot of abuse. A lot understood why you want to leave, but there's some who are in love with their football club, and they don't want to see the good players leave so there will be a few of those who think he's only stayed because Man City have pulled out of the deal. I think it's great for Spurs fans to know he's staying. He would never want to leave the club on a sour note. In an ideal world I think he would have said, thank you I've really enjoyed it, I'm a Tottenham fan, but I want to win honours. So it's great news for Spurs, they can focus on trying to get in that top four they've had a great start to the season. Trebo Chalaba forced to delete Declan Rice tweet after abuse from Chelsea fans ex-Arsenal boss Arsene Wenger reunites with Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain in Liverpool training Chelsea star to win UEFA Men's Player of the Year award the former England international, who played for Spurs between 1985 and 1989, also believes the future looks bright for the North London club, but admits they need to change their transfer strategy if they are to compete for the Premier League title. Spurs always sign what I call potential players, they don't really sign a player who's complete, they always sign potential. They normally go on to be great, then they end up selling them. Because Tottenham is a selling club, he said. Everybody's waiting for the day when the stadium and training ground are paid off and we can turn round and say we're not selling anybody, we're actually going to buy the top players like City, United do and there's no reason Spurs can't do that in the next two to three years.